Well, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to A Therapeutic Edge. Uh, today on the table in front of us, we have another interesting knife from Off Grid. They were nice enough to send this along for review. Um, Nick Shabazz has a big thing he does about how this might be the best one ever. I'm not going to get into that, but this did come directly from them, and I want that out there in the open. This will also be making its rounds around uh, various other channels, so keep your eyes out for other perspectives on this as well. Uh, it comes in a really nice box, and as you can see, it is called the Black Mamba by Off Grid. Now, uh, they like snake names, which I think is cool. This one comes in a really interesting box, and it has a challenge coin, which I think is very cool. And here is the knife. Now, some of you may have seen my review of the uh, Viper, and you will notice that this is a very similar shape, although it is, I think, a little bit smaller. Now this, the Black Mamba, is all titanium, it is running on ceramic bearings, it is M390, and it is made by Wii. So it is a really nice knife. <laughs> Now, these are in the $260 range. They are not inexpensive, um, but we knives aren't. Uh, that they made this for off-grid to off-grid's specs. Well, this is a small, compact, excellent little pocket knife uh, made of super high-end materials, and I think that is very, very cool. Now, the other off-grid knives I had were their budget offerings. Um, D2 and G10 or, you know, GFN, um, stuff like that. This is something a little different. And in the time that I've had it, you know, I have pocketed it quite a bit. Um, I have carried it around. It is competitive in, of course, quality with all of the other Wii knives I have, right? Because it is made by Wii. But there is definitely a design aesthetic that you would not get from a Wii knife, and that is what Off Grid has brought to the table here. I really like this thing. It is very tough, even though it is sort of small. Let's do some size comparisons so we can see what I'm talking about. Uh, here it is against the PM2. Oh, PM2 is one of my users. <laughs> and so the blade is filthy. How embarrassing. Anyway, here it is against the PM2. As you can see, it is considerably smaller than that. Here it is against the lightweight Para 3. It is much, much closer in size to the Para 3. And for cutting edge, you actually get a little more cutting edge, but a little less handle. So it is shorter than the uh, Para 3. It is very close in size. Our old friend the bug out, but as you can see, even the bug out is a little bigger. Now you don't get a lot more blade on the bug out, um, but as I said, the Black Mamba is a very compact knife. And yet, while it is a basically a three finger knife for me, as you can see, there is room for the pinky back here. And when you have this knife in hand, it is incredibly locked in. Now, this nice, this nice sort of shallow belly on this reversed hand toe that follows all the way to the tip means that this thing is one heck of a cutter, and it comes to a very nice edge. This thing is hair popping sharp. It was when it came out of the box. The grind on either side of the blade is just perfect, but of course, that is what we brings to the table. Centering is dead on. I hope that's showing up. Action is, of course, super snappy and smooth. Uh, it could use a little lubricant. We tend to ship their knives very dry. I'm not going to lubricate this up because this is how it came. But, man, the action is really good. I cannot fail it no matter what I do. It is a frame lock, and the lockup is at probably about 30 to 35%. Um, this is an excellent small pocket knife. They've done a mar just a marvelous job in both design, and of course, Wii has done an excellent job in execution. Much like the Viper, it has this interesting jimping pattern across the top of the blade, but not actually on the blade. So if you move your thumb a little off to the sides, for instance, if you're going to push cut, move your thumb this way just a little bit, you get tons of grip, which I think is very nice. There is jimping back here, 
There is no jimping here. There's no jimping on the lock bar relief, but it doesn't matter. The lock bar pops out of the way super easily. There is a little bit of jimping on the flipper tab, and as you can see, the flipper tab is a relatively aggressive design. It would be, again, the nod to Nick Shabazz, a little bit of a pocket pecker. The pocket clip, also titanium, is uh, very nice and deep carry. Um, they did not use the flat, head, flat top screws on this, so the screws do interfere just a little tiny bit when you're pulling it in and out of pocket. But the pocket clip has got plenty of spring, good room for jeans. It's just a really nice design. The whole thing, as you can see, is black washed, which I think is just super cool. Uh, with use, I imagine you'd get just a little bit of these raised areas here, the, uh, the milling, just a little bit of shine on those. I think this thing will look so good after a little bit of wear and tear. It's just that kind of knife. <laughs> Let's take a look at the uh, overall thickness. The thicknesses, as it were. What are we looking at here? All right. The blade stock is just at four millimeters. I mean, dead on four millimeters. The knife itself, right through the thickest part, is 12 millimeters or just a little smidge over a half inch. I hope that's showing up for you guys. Just about a little over a half inch. It is a very nice knife. It is a nice thick stock of M390 that comes down to a really nice edge. It has a very robust tip because of this reverse tanto. This is just, you know, I know, I don't generally like small knives, but if you're going to make a small knife, do it right. And Off Grid has designed a very good small knife. I really like it. Let's go ahead and get the length measurements out of the way here. The blade, as I said, is not too long. You get one, two, and a little over three quarters, so two and probably seven eighths or six eighths of, uh, of cutting on just at one to three inches of M390. The grip area from just behind the flipper tab is one to three, coming up to three and three quarters to the very end. It is a very compact knife. The overall length is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and an eighth inches long. Um, when I spoke to Off Grid, they kept this below three inches to keep it legal carry in most places and at as I said just over two and three quarters inches you are in legal territory for most places uh, the blade itself is right at three inches but the cutting edge is below you know if the if it's below three inches that you have to carry you might have somebody if they're gonna be a real jerk uh, give you a bit of an argument but all in all this knife is legal in most places it is not a lightweight Oh, that looks really reflecty. I hope that's not too bad. Uh, no, it looks okay. And it weighs in at 4.6 ounces, and that is because there is no milling on the inside. These are just titanium slabs. But I'll tell you something, for me at least, um, I like a hefty small knife. And the reason is, is because it makes you know you're holding on to something when you got your hand on it. Um, it is kind of tail heavy because of this titanium backspacer, but that means that when it sits down into your palm, you definitely know you got a hold of something. And in the small you know time that I've had this and the cutting tasks that I've done with it, that has really paid off. There are no hot spots, at least not for my big old hands. Your experience may vary, but for me, this thing is just a real worker, and I really enjoy it. These are available on Amazon. You can get them right from the off-grid web, off website if you are so inclined. Um, my thinking on this is that while I really, really like the off-grid, uh, more budget-friendly stuff, their D2 and their, uh, their D2 blades, um, this is an excellent foray into the sort of high-end knife market. They didn't give up their own personal aesthetic. I mean, look at the milling. Right, that sort of honeycomb pattern on the titanium. It is just gorgeous. <laughs> they did not give up their own unique aesthetic. 
uh, while at the same time making sure that the knife was produced by a company that was going to do an excellent job, and that of course would be we. So there we are. This is the Off-Grid Knives Black Mamba. It is M390, it is all titanium, and is running on ceramic bearings. It is a tactically oriented knife, but definitely a working oriented knife. Uh, this is a high-end work knife to be sure, and yet it manages to do it with a lot of really interesting style. I um, am really looking forward to whatever it is they bring forth next, because if this is an indication of where their design aesthetic is going and what they are interested in, uh, I am going to follow along with great interest. I do hope they make the Black Mamba XL, because if they made a version of this that was about that big, I would, well, I'd have one already. <laughs> I absolutely would. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. This has been the Off-Grid Black Mamba, uh, another interesting offering from Off-Grid Knives, who, by the way, is a great company. The people there are so nice. Um, if you're interested in this, feel free to check it out on their website or over on Amazon. Uh, keep your eyes open because other reviewers who have different tastes than I do are going to have an opportunity to take a look at this down the road. I hope you've enjoyed this. We'll see you next time.